is the feast day of St. Wenceslaus, martyr of the church. Also the feast day of St. Lawrence Rees and companions, martyrs of the church. Our mass today is offered for the happy repose of the soul of Frank and Anna McCree. This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who taught the martyr St. Wenceslaus to place the heavenly kingdom before any earthly one, grant through his prayers that denying ourselves we may hold fast to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul, of St. Peter. Beloved, even if you should suffer because of righteousness, Blessed are you. Do not be afraid or terrified with fear of them, but sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. The word of the Lord. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Wenceslaus, the very same King Wenceslaus about whom the Christmas carol is written. The Christmas Carol tells the story of a king and his page on a journey as they brave the harsh winter when they observe a poor man collecting wood. Wenceslaus asks his page to find out where the poor man lives and to gather meat, drink, and firewood so that they can bring it to the poor man's home. Although there is no mention of Christmas in this traditional Christmas Carol, its message is of kindness and generosity to the less fortunate and certainly embodies the Christmas spirit and the virtues of this good king who lived in the beginning of the 8th century. Wenceslaus was the son of a Christian duke of Bohemia whose own father had con been converted to Christianity by St. Cyril and Methodius. So Christianity did not have deep roots in his country. His mother, in fact, was a pagan and a very cruel woman, hostile to the new faith. So Wenceslaus was educated in his, the true faith by his holy grandmother, and from a young age developed a very strong devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. When his father died, Wenceslaus was still a minor, so his mother assumed the government, and she passed a series of anti-Christian laws persecuting Christianity. In the interest of the faith and at the encouragement of his grandmother, Wenceslaus claimed and obtained the support of a large portion of his countrymen and had his mother exiled. His mother allied herself with his another son, Boleslaus, a pagan, and he planted one day to kill Wenceslaus. But under the good Christian king, the faith began to flourish, especially due to the good king's example. On the feast of dedication of the churches in various cities, the king would visit those cities to attend mass and to give alms to the poor. Well, one Sunday on the feast of St. Cosmas and Damian, Wenceslaus entered a city still loyal to his brother, Boleslaus. After hearing Mass, Boleslaus struck Wenceslaus with a sword, while two of his counselors stabbed Wenceslaus to death, murdering him at the entrance of the cathedral. In the Gospel for this feast, we hear the Lord's own prophecy of how he will be a source of division, even within families. This certainly was the true was true in the family of today's saint. He sought to unify his countrymen under the banner of the Christian faith. And even though St. Wenceslaus knew that some conspired against him, that did not keep him from his deep faith, deep devotion to the Eucharist, and commitment to his works of mercy. Emboldened by St. Wenceslaus, his example and assisted by his heavenly intercession, may we do the same for the glory of God. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. St. Wenceslaus, pray for us.
Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embrace death and bearing witness to the faith. Give us true freedom of the spirit, we pray to the Lord. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith that is constant and pure, we pray to the Lord. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have asked of our prayer that we promise prayer. We pray especially for those who have suffered with these fires, especially the most recent fire that is only a few blocks away from us. And we pray that the Lord quell these fires and help the firemen bring them into containment. For this, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the end of the coronavirus and all who are affected by it, that they may regain their strength or be alleviated from anxiety and the pains of this disease. For this, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the end of the violence in this country and the perpetrators who are behind it all, that they may be brought to quick justice. For this, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died, especially Frank and Anna Macri, for whom the Mass is offered, for those we hold closest to our hearts, and those who have no one to pray for them, that they may see the face of God and live. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you taught your martyr Wenceslaus to prefer the kingdom of heaven to all the earth has to offer. May his prayers free us from our self-seeking and help us to serve you with all our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Wenceslaus overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the, bless of your, for the blood of your blessed martyr Wenceslaus, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso est ibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti in unitati Spiritus Sancti omnis honor et gloria per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Wenceslaus faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Immaculate Mary, Mother, Teacher, and Queen, watch over with a loving smile this blessed land of America and her children. Your, hearts expand, your heart expands so as to welcome and enfold all peoples in the loving embrace of peace. You continue to look down on the earth upon the just and the erring, ever solicitous for the salvation of all. You remember that Jesus, when dying on the cross, assigned you as our mother and inflamed your heart with universal love and solicitude. Therefore, continue to inspire vocations, comfort the evangelical labors, and render all hearts docile to the divine master. Through you, may this great people evermore find in Christ the way, the truth, and the life. May they let his light shine before the world. May they always seek the kingdom of God and his justice. Amen. Saint Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with mercy upon thy people who cry to thee. And by the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, in thy mercy and goodness hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ, our Lord. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary, Mary Immaculate, Queen of Apostles, pray for us.